this is Mitchell from Artisans and Arthropods, just chiming in today to give you my personal review of the WEN 8 inch 5 speed drill press. It's model number 4208. Uh, you guys might know this better as pretty much the cheapest drill press you can buy, at least it was when I bought it. I think I spent about $66 on it, something to the tune of that. I've had this sucker about three years now, so I feel like I can weigh in on how good it's been to me, whether it was worth the money. Uh, and let you know what features I would go for uh, if you wanted to spend a little more money and not get this guy. So let's get into it. Do you guys have any WEN tools? I would love to hear about your experience. Honestly, I have a few. I have this, I have my uh, air filtration system, and I got this scroll saw over here that hasn't been used in a while. It's, here's the uh, air filtration system. So any of you guys got WEN tools? What's your experience been? Anyhow, let me know in the comments. Let's get to the video. All right, first I'll tell you why I bought this. Uh, basically the price. Yep, the price. It was 66 bucks. I didn't have a drill press yet. I barely had a drill at that point. Uh, drill press is great if you're looking to do precision drilling and you know make sure that you're always drilling perpendicular to the surface that you're trying to work on. Uh, got a lot of advantages to the stationary setup. You can see I got mine bolted to the table down here. Uh, it did well screwed to the table. It came with little holes to mount it and see the handle here is pretty decent. Uh, these have come off for me in the past. They twist pretty easy but you could always glue them. That's not really a problem. Uh, you pop this open easily. That's where your pulley is and that's how you change your speeds. You're going to want to uh, take tension off with this little knob down here. See that knob there? You just turn that, take tension off, and you actually pull the motor itself, and then you got slack on the pulley, and you can move that up and down and change your speeds. Comes with a nice speed chart in there, pretty helpful. Shows you exactly how to place the belt to accomplish different things. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, this was a lot shinier when I first got it. It's humid here in my garage, and I had a table on this, a custom table. I took it off for the video, but yeah, no airflow there, rusted it. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you're pretty much always going to want to have some kind of piece of wood on there if you're a woodworker or your pieces are going to get scratched to hell. Uh, these holes are really meant more for metal machine work anyway. These are meant to receive C-clamps. Um, this is really the table that comes with these is meant for drilling metal. Let's see. Um, pros. Very sturdy. I've had to do very minimal work to maintain this thing. Um, really just keep it dusted off. I did have one failure of a part, um, and Wen was really cool about it. If you see inside this here, there's actually the spindle return spring, so crank this down. This spring over here pulls the spindle back up without you doing it manually. So that broke on me. Uh, it was pretty obviously a defect because it happened after like a year. I called Wen or emailed them or something easy and it, uh, they replaced the part for free, just sent it right out, asked me what was up, sent me the part, no problems. Uh, it's lasted ever since and I'm sure if it broke again they would probably replace it again. But it hasn't. Uh, cons, really the only thing that's missing from this drill press that I would really like to have, like the one thing is there's no crank for this table. So I've since used nicer drill presses and they have little cranks where you can really fine tune the distance from the bit as it's mounted in there. You can really dial this table up and down. But as it stands, it's kind of a two-handed endeavor of, you know, I'll do it one-handed. It's probably going to crash down. But, ooh, see, loosened it. Now that's loose. You position it with your other hand and then you crank that back. So it's a little tricky uh, adjusting height and really fine tuning things. It can take a couple tries and you can end up smashing your workpiece into the bit um, if you're not careful because this sucker's heavy and it can take a little, it's got a little inertia against the pole here. It can take a little force to get that thing moving. So it's hard to fine tune things. Uh, but if you don't have a drill press and you got 60 bucks hanging around, instead of buying whatever video game just came out for full price, uh, go ahead and buy this thing. Probably 80 now, you know, inflation, whatever. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. I'd give it a solid four and a half stars. Uh, most of that's coming from the price. Like you definitely get you can get a sturdier feeling drill press, you know, but a lot of that depends on the table that you mount to it and how well you have it bolted to the table. Um, the table that I built for mine is basically just a piece of plywood. It's not much at all, and I don't even have proper lags through this table, so there is a little bit of play in this machine, and I still don't mind it. I can do everything I need to do. Not an issue, but build yourself a nice table on this thing. 
uh, for woodworking and it's going to treat you well. Through doing things that I probably shouldn't have been doing, at least at the speed I was on, I've stalled this motor out tons of times. It never shows any signs of quit. I have no doubt that the motor on this thing is going to last a very long time. Really, with this machine, you're just lacking some of the bells and whistles, like that uh, depth adjuster crank that I had mentioned earlier, but you have everything you need with this machine. Great beginner item. You can see on mine, I got a couple of bar magnets over here. Just a really quick way to hold a bunch of common use bits. Um, got a depth gauge here. It's pretty helpful uh, to set a stop on it. I'm sure there are better mechanisms than this out there, but I know some of the nicer drill presses actually use this same system with two nuts that tighten against each other. You thread them into each other, and that's how you set your stop. You back them off the other way and then adjust the height, and you know that's your constant depth. So every hole will be the same depth. Uh, those have held up just fine. This little flag's cool. It's just cool to have any kind of reference here. So, yeah, for the price, uh, get you one. Just wanted to show you quickly. Here are some of the big ticket items that I use this drill press regularly to make. I use a template to drill these pen holders. I get nice clean holes every time. Machine does its job wonderfully. Now, these are done with the Forstner bit, and sometimes, depending on the thickness or the width of that Forstner bit, you are going to want to change the speed on this device uh, in order to, to keep going smoothly and avoid burn. So, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any specific questions about this machine, uh, go ahead and ask me in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. Uh, Till next time, thank you.